좋지? Good morning. <웃음> Do you want water? You want water? Water? 물? Okay. 물물 What? What do you want? There Today is May 10 Right now it's 10.24 in the morning The weather is not so great It's cloudy um, there's supposed to be a rain a bit, but I'm not sure. I can't believe I have to wear this winter jacket on May. So yeah, uh, we're gonna walk outside. Today I'm doing vlogging. So hello everyone, today I'm doing vlogging. Yes! I said I'm not going to do vlog anymore, but I do now. I don't know. So that whole pandemic thing, you know, is this year I planned so much different project, hoping one of them actually kicks off. This camera is heavy. I'm shooting on my main camera, X-T3. I never vlogged it on this before, but it's actually pretty heavy, despite how small this is. <clears throat> Anyways, where was I? So I want to talk about like how pandemic affected me so far uh, i've been sitting in my home since march so march april now it's may so for three months i've been because i ha i don't really have anything to do anymore since whole job industry is gone uh, whole movie industry that i was trying to get into as soon as i uh, graduated school it's gone so so then got me thinking what do I do? Look at these people. Who, they're, they're probably wondering, like, why is this guy is doing vlogging? Uh, middle of pandemic, right? So yeah, what am, I, what am I left to do, right? Doing some stupid project, fixing houses. Uh, I did some review on microphone and, and the tripod that I recently bought, purchased. Um, not a good one, but I, I wanted to try out uh, how organized I can be. It turns out to be very difficult because I don't know since when I have no idea but I started to get uh, this nervousness when, it, when I'm in front of a camera I get camera shy I wasn't like this before about a year ago when I was used to doing the vloggings and stuff I wasn't shy I was just holding maybe because the camera is a little smaller it was action camera before but like I wasn't shy I don't know what happened um, maybe it's, I, I think I lost something during a summertime. I'm doing vlogging first because I don't have anything left to do anymore. I have a review coming up, like one of the macro lens that I bought because I wanted to do um, production photography and videography. But like, I don't know, I'm not really a lens type of guy, I would say. So yeah, so I made some review. Uh, one tripod, one microphone, but I don't really want, I realize I don't really want to make professional uh, videography or a professional film channel because that's not just who I am. It's just, I don't consider myself professional enough to discuss those. I can give a, as a perspective of regular users, but that's about it, like a hobbyist. I realized, I remembered that the whole reason I started vlogging from the first place, this was going to replace my journal, like every day recording myself, what I've done, what I haven't done. And at one point, I, I think I kind of lost it. And it became something that I have to show to other people, um, where I go, uh, what I do, how exciting it is. Um, so 
I was just basically faking myself how good my life is. Life is always good, but it's not gonna be only highlighted, you know what I mean? But initially, vlogging for me, it's just about myself. For me, for myself, talking, about, talking to myself in order for me to record what I think, what I do, and come back and see it. Oh, a year ago, I was thinking that way. A year ago, I was doing that. So it's been about three months now. April, no, March, April, May. Where's that? Okay, My, March, April, May, and, and I started to kind of afraid of going outside, actually. There's a whole pandemic is going on. I have to avoid people. People are still walking around a lot, quite a bit. When the weather is good, it's even worse. Today, the weather isn't that good, so there's not many people going around. I mean, the Canada is not the safest place to be right now. Because, uh, you have about 65,000 uh, infected people. And today, we got another 350. So it's not looking great, I would say. I have a nice tulip here. I gotta take some picture here once the weather gets better. It's nice. And yet, Ontario is starting to opening up. We opened up the construction uh, or some other more essential businesses opening. So everything pretty much is closed other than like a Walmart. Malls are all closed. And yet they're talking about opening up the provincial park now. Um, the weather is getting warmer. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna manage it uh, when there's gonna be more infection outbreak. Who knows? This might as well in, it, like extend it to end of this year. But weirdly enough, in the, at the corner of my mind, there's another me saying, "Not yet. Uh, we shouldn't open it yet. Not because there's a there's gonna be outbreak, but because I've been kind of." Let go of my, all my responsibility, getting, stay uh, stress-free, do whatever the heck I want. And that made me uh, a little stressed about opening back up, strangely. Because if things are opening up again, now I have to get prepared to get an actual job, not this. This is my career, I guess. It's, it helps my job. To getting better and yeah not, I was saying like once things are opening up again now I have to uh, look for the real job I kind of make me nervous what if I can't get a job anymore what if the whole uh, pandemic just you know melt the economy down so much that no one's actually getting a job for a while um, what if whole film industry actually died out movie theater are closed down so there will be uh, less investment now so this is a swimming pool that I used to go well of course it's closed everything is cancelled I'm missing out of it the swimming pool in indoor swimming pool because I like swimming I really like swimming I guess the best way of going through this for all of us is, I think, is to relax. Relax about this whole pandemic. Practice social distancing. I haven't seen my friend for many months. It's a really weird feeling. Now, now that I don't see people, though I still want to meet up with my friends and have a party. As soon as this quarantine thing stops, I'm doing a party. This is Sobe. Sobe, Sobe. People are, some people are here because 
I guess Sobe is open to market, kosher market. So, oh, you might wondering what am I doing outside? What am I? Where am I going? Um, nowhere. I'm just walking around. It's boring to stay home and put it on, put this on a tripod and talking to talking head. I mean, nothing's changed on my background if I do that. And two, nothing interesting is going on when I do that. So, yeah, so kosher is open. People are picking up food here and there. What else is open? Let's check. Flower. Uh, flowers is open. Today is Mother's Day, and my mother wanted some flower or trees, but it looks terrible. Look at this. It's kind of terrible shape. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not getting it. <laughs> I'm not getting this shit, no. Whatever this is, closed. This is open. I don't know what this is. I wonder what that is. It's a, it's a restaurant. Take a oni. Clothes. It's it's the um, glasses. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. School project, eh? No, it's a personal project. Yeah. Ah. It's, I'm just vlogging myself. Huh? I'm just vlogging myself. Ah, you, yeah. You have Everything on YouTube or something? Or has yeah, I do have YouTube. Uh, what's your name on YouTube? Uh, it's called Yun Production. Yun Pro Y-U-N Production? Y-U-N Production. Nice. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so, bank is open, I guess. Gift shop closed, of course. Wow, they actually left. Huh. These pizza place open at a restaurant. Everything else is closed. So I guess only thing right now is open is the the market, the big super market or a restaurant. I mean I have more time to do my own thing, free time, but I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing for me. Because I'm a also a workaholic so it's, it's actually very difficult not to do anything, really. People with joggers. I mean, even if we open up right now, will people actually come out? Will people actually start doing uh, business right away? What if people got scared and don't want to leave the house forever? It's a possibility. I mean, I certainly feel like that. I certainly don't want to leave my house. Um, it, it makes me uncomfortable to leave my house because I've been sitting inside for three months. It's funny, it's a very funny feeling. I know it's not, it's not like something I have to scare of. It's not like a gun, someone's firing a gun, like assault rifle um, or anything. As long as I'm, being careful, not going to crowd, uh, not touching each other, social distancing. Yeah, as long as I do that, I think I, sh I should be fine. Like everyone should be fine, I think. But that makes me very nervous about it. Uh, it starts to rain, oh shit. Well, the bus is still going, I guess. I haven't used a TTC for ever since the March, actually. For three months, I didn't use it. Like I said, I stayed home. Um, even, if I, even if I had to go to downtown sometimes, I use Uber instead of TTC. I, be, I believe they lost about 80% of the, their riderships already. And, but they're still running it. Some people need it, I guess. 
So back in the studio. Uh, is it rec recording? Is it recording? Yeah. So back in the studio. Uh, thankfully, my camera didn't get wet by the rain. It's not that raining a lot. It's sprinkles. Uh, anyways, so this is back on my studio. I know this is a little uh, unorganized. It's dirty. Yes. But here's some stuff that I wanted to update. Here's the lens. Um, this is a macro lens, 60 mil from Seven Artisan. It's okay, it's decent. I was thinking about making a review out of it. I'm not sure if I should. It's it's built really solid, and I bought it to um, get better look when I'm doing some product review later on, and maybe I can also do some product photography i like doing those i like doing uh, product photography and the second one this is called opz let me show you how to turn it on so this is basically a musical in instrument so you can get drum snare Uh, I don't know what it's called. So I'm not a drum guy, but yeah. And then there's effect, bass, melody. It sounds like um, it sounds like a, the Stranger Things sound. Right? Arpeggio. Uh, chord. Yeah, and then... That's something I made out of like a 30 minute. It's pretty easy to make. I bought it because mainly I wanted to um, make my own music instead of trying to fight with the copyright issue, pay for epidemic sound, something like that. Uh, I don't want to do that. I just want to make my own music, tune into what what my feel, mood on my video, extra. So that's why I bought it. It's pre pretty expensive. It's like thousand dollars after tax and import fees and everything. Like it shouldn't be that expensive. Um, I mean, the build quality on that is kind of, eh, for, for $800 Canadian US, Canadian dollars for $800, eh, the quality is not that good, but it makes great music. It's super easy to use. So that's why I bought it anyways. And the last one, I guess, last project that I was doing, Boosted Board. And now it's turning to the Cruiser Board. I'm not sure if I have to use this. I don't quite like it because the board is super stiff and then they put some stuff inside of the board. It's just not made out of bamboo. Um, I don't know why even they tried to use a bamboo from the first place because it's bamboo. They Okay, so when it comes to longboard, bamboo, you use it for flexibility. That board has zero flex, zero. And it's super heavy for a board. So I don't quite like it. Uh, and you have to use a riser pad. You have to use it because um, otherwise you can't put a regular truck on it. So the stability, uh, hardness is too hard. Uh, my fit hurts, uh, heavy. I don't quite like it. I might actually either sell, sell it or I put it, make it into a DIY shelf. That might be an interesting idea, actually. Uh, the second board, the big one. Uh, it's a new one. I just made it. Long, it's a double drop deck. 
this one is double everything is an extra board so double drop deck 38 inch with double kingpin truck so you get one two double kingpin so you can turn really well and this is double the thickness of the regular wheel white from a company called venom venom magnum venom magnum mark one mark one really fast these wheels are really fast i love it. it you can carve really easy slide easy super easy and then i put a now it's dark but it used to be white because uh, but those are the red swiss uh, ceramic bearings so once you start running it runs forever Though it's at slow speed because there's not much hill around here. Um, so you have to kind of cruise around. But I like it. The double everything. Extra board. Extra, extra, extra board. Anyways, that's been it. I mean, what can I do about it? Pandemic, right? So I'm probably going to do some vlogging for a while uh, regularly. Probably every two days or every three days. I uh, hope you guys are, people are tuning in. Um, that's a minute. And hope to see you next time.